So yeah, we are live. Hopefully didn't this didn't go live before because sometimes it says we're going live and it goes live before and whatnot, blah, 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 yada, 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 and whatnot. Anyways, I got the budget, got the budget for a new camera. So you see me more clear. Hopefully you see me more clear. Can you actually hear me? Put an exclamation mark in the chat if you can hear me while you remove the GDX videos because I felt like that, okay? So anyways, uh, uh, put an exclamation mark if you can hear me because if you don't hear me, this would be a very weird live stream. And this camera is a little bit weird, so I need to, you know. Anyways, getting to the topic, getting to the topic, I'm gonna try to make this short as possible because I see that every single time and the videos get up to 20, 30 minutes. But basically I'm gonna repeat a lot of stuff that I talk about all the time because you guys need repetition for some reason. And as I said, or that you, or what you read here, the topic of this video is when should you publish your game? Like every other comment, every second comment, like nine out of 10 comments on my YouTube channel are, can I publish this game that I create? And like the other day I was like, no, you cannot. And he's like, what if I change 30%? What is wrong with you guys in publishing video games that you create from tutorials? What is the purpose of that? So I'm hoping that the majority of you guys who join this channel, who watch my videos, who subscribe to my mailing list, who enroll in my courses and get all my stuff, I'm hoping that you actually want to learn and actually make a career out of game development. Now, if you only think about, if you only think about uh, publishing a game that you create by following my tutorial, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you right here, right now, that's not gonna happen. And I'm telling you this just to help you as much as I can because you guys focus on the wrong things most of the time, a lot of you, not every single one. When I say you guys, I don't mean every single one of you because I don't want some wise person from my audience to come and tell me, oh, technically, you insulted me because I am I don't do that. Okay, if you don't do it, that's fine. You don't do it, that's great. But for you guys who do it, actually, don't focus on the thing that don't matter. Don't focus on the thing that don't matter. Don't focus on publishing a game. You will need to pay $25 on Google Play, $100 per year on Apple to publish your game. For what? Nobody will download it because you just copy pasted a tutorial. Who's gonna download that? Nobody. So you will need to pay to actually publish something that nobody will download and you will waste time for that instead of focusing on the right part, the, the right the right mindset. Now, gaming plus tech, you are gonna be banned right now. So I am going to hide you from the channel and your comments are not gonna be visible anymore because you are spamming. And yeah. Anyways, uh, basically that's it. That's what I wanted to say. You guys focus too much on the wrong thing. You need to focus. I'm talking to beginners because most of the people who are on my channel are beginners. I'm talking that you need to focus on the thing at the hand to create, to learn, to understand what is going on instead of just trying to publish in your game. When should you publish your game? Well, when you get to the point that you understand what you are doing. So when you get to the point uh, I get you. It's sad that there are a lot of people with no ideas of just looking somewhere. Right? Uh, I will just come to the. I will come back to the to your uh, questions. But as I said, you should when uh, when you're ready, when you understand what you're doing, when you're comfortable creating even a small game. You know my 40 minute tutorial game that a lot of you guys applied for. Well, when you know how to create something like that on your own, then you can try and publish something. But I would even not publish then. I would use it as a portfolio to get a job, to showcase, to get a job in a game studio. But yeah, don't try to copy paste my games and just publish them. And besides, you're not allowed to use those assets to publish them. I, I did not give you permission. You guys don't, don't even look at the permission that I have on my asset page. When you go there, you have the first thing, first thing there with big letters like this. It's like important, important, where you should read about the thing that is important, which is I'm telling you, you, you cannot publish games with these assets. But yeah, anyways, focus on the thing at hand, focus on actually learning because my students who actually learned, who understood and applied things on their own, they got jobs in the game studios. They release games that got millions of downloads. That can be you, but 
Only if you listen to me and work on the correct, on the right things. Only then. It will not happen before. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you get the message because I need to repeat it over and over and over again. And you guys still don't listen for some reason. But, hey, if you want to never learn game development, be my guest. Publish every game I, I put there and voila. That is that. And, uh, yeah, wow, I was rambling for five minutes. And uh, for any, sir, when you publish multiplayer game, never. Any book recommendations? I would recommend, I would rather recommend a tutorial because if you buy a book, book is like 20, 30, 40 dollars. You can get, a, you can enroll in my course for that amount of money or any, or any other course online, which I believe has way better information than any book. Because uh, book is pure letters that you just read and try to understand. So yeah, I don't rec I don't usually recommend books. I usually watch your videos because it's my hobby to know about new things and news and some cool development life hacks. Let your videos keep going and ignore the copycats. No, I'm not upset that people are copying. I, I'm I'm just I'm I I have that is that has nothing to do with me. I don't care. It's not affecting me at all in that term. But I care that you guys learn. I create these tutorials so that you guys can learn. Just, I don't create them just to put them out there. Like and when I talked about my eight-hour tutorial, the first-person shooter survival game, I did not put that just because. I could have used those eight hours in a lot of in way better ways than creating a tutorial and publishing online. But I did that for you so that you can learn. And how many of you watch it till the end? Rarely, rarely somebody. Sir, when you publish multiplayer, I said never. So please don't spam. If you spam, I will, sir, when you publish multiplayer game project, you told sir, okay, I will hide you from the channel, sir, now. Because you're spamming, sir. Is Unity certification beneficial? I don't, I mean, depending on who, where you want to apply for a job, but I don't worry. I won't worry. I, would not worry about any certification if you know what you're doing. That's why I say focus on knowing, understanding fundamentals. When you understand the fundamentals, you know you're comfortable writing code on your own. It will be easy for you to get a job. Does it matter what day you release a game on the App Store? No. I really like your videos. Thanks for, you know, thanks for the great content. You're welcome. Sir, when should we publish Game in Play Store that will get more downloads? It's a... Uh, Publishing a game is just, it's not only about creating a game, publishing, and you, that way you will not get any downloads. You need to build an audience. You need to have a marketing plan. That's why a lot of things are connected to, to publishing a game. That's why I say don't just publish a game, okay? How to concentrate on game development. That is up to you in creating discipline. I cannot help you with discipline. If you, if, if you care about game development that much, then you will discipline yourself. You will throw this thing away from you. So you'll throw your phone away when you're working. You will not look at cat videos on YouTube and stuff like that. You will focus on the job at hand, the thing, the thing in front of you. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you care about, if, if you truly care about game development, if you truly want to become a game developer, then you will work on disciplining yourself. If not, then you will not. Please answer me. Are 3D characters from Mixemo.com compatible with mobile games? I don't know. You will need to ask them. I don't know that website, and I don't know. You are awesome. Thank you, man. Sir, your PC specs, please. I'm planning to build a PC. I use a MacBook Pro. I'm from India. Thank you for your tutorials. Okay, you're welcome. How to earn money with our games. Uh, I'm assuming since you're asking me this, you are a beginner. So don't worry about that right now. Focus on learning game development. How many hours do you work per day? I, well, today I worked very little. Today I didn't work at all. I learned, I learned some new things for about an hour or two. And, that's, and that was about it. I took a day off, so to say day off. I was like, you know, resting a little bit. But yeah, I never have a day where I don't do anything, at least learn something. So today I learned, but usually I, I use three, four, five, six, seven, sometimes 10 hours a day. I, I'm on my computer. I bought some 3D models from Unity SS Store since I'm only good in development. Do you know other 3D model store that sells game compatible 3D models? No. Star Rocket Big RBG game is a nice idea. No, it's not. Productivity tips. Productivity tips. Again, it comes back to you. It comes back to you, but uh, I cannot, 
I cannot give you guides on what you should do because I don't know you. I don't know your daily routines. I have my own daily routines. For example, I wake up at like 3.30 a.m. Yeah, that's right, 3.30 a.m. And I start working and I enjoy that. And then like at 6 a.m. or so, I go for a jog for one hour. That all helps me replenish, think, and stuff like that. So I try to focus my day on only doing things that are beneficial. I don't waste time. I mean, I do, but I try to waste as less time as I can and stuff like that. So that is how you get more productive. Is there any c sharp tutorial for people who never did coding for free? Yeah, on my channel. I'll find my game tutorial with sprites, uh, Drew Music. My friend may add and other things. I won't publish it, but I'd like you to try it. Yeah, send it on my email. Can I make money from simple games? Again, man, you are focusing on the wrong things. Focus on learning. I'm assuming you're a complete beginner. You didn't even create your first game, so don't worry about that. Thank you so much for coming live again. My question is that I forget is that I forget when I try to code myself. Practice more. Love from Pakistan. Love you back. Is it a good thing to use Playmaker or C Sharp as a beginner? Uh, I would focus on C Sharp because what you guys don't realize is that the C Sharp coding that I'm teaching you on this channel is not only for Unity. If you get bored of game development, you decide that's not for you, don't want to do it anymore. Well, then you can go and do mobile app development, desktop development, because the programming concepts are the same. That's why I say focus on the fundamentals. When you learn fundamentals of C Sharp, it's the same thing if you want to code Android, the same thing if you want to code iOS, the same exact thing, okay? When I'm done, of course, okay? And some YouTuber and some YouTubers disappointed by teaching very complex method, though, okay? Should 3D models from a mobile game be in the of PC or they can be done inside Unity? I don't understand the question. In Unity, you don't do any uh, 3D model creation. I wish you do live for longer minutes. I can't, I mean, I can, but it's just too much. Um, nobody's going to watch a one hour live video. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm not doing it. Love you from Bangladesh. Love you back. Anyways, uh, I'm going to hop off. It's 12 minutes. I think it's enough. I made my point about your course about make RBG and FPS and start learning make RBG game at the same time I do mini games. Thank you, man. Thank you for the support. But focus only on the course. Don't focus on the mini games. Just focus on the course, okay? And that way you will get the most benefit. Anyways, that was it. I got my point in the first five, four minutes. Uh, yeah, until the next live stream, guys. Uh, stay out of jail because you cannot go games if you're in jail, okay? Uh, is it possible to work in solo game development coding? Yes, it is. How many years? It takes solo Unity completely. Probably forever because there are always new features. Just focus on the fundamentals. Thanks again for coming live. Waiting for your next one. Okay, man. Thank you all. Thank you all. And as I said again, stay out of jail, man. And because you cannot code if you're in jail. See you next time, guys. I'm going to end the live stream with...